Well, hello there. Are grab bars really necessary to have in the bathroom? Find out today on Toilet Talk. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh, and I'm an occupational therapist. I've helped so many people make the best changes to their bathroom to live at home for a lifetime. And today, we're going to talk about a question that I have people ask a lot. Is it necessary for me to put grab bars in my bathroom? The short answer is yes. Grab bars help people of all ages and abilities in the bathroom. Despite all the evidence and all the reasons why it's a good idea to put grab bars in your bathroom, I still meet a lot of resistance to the idea, which leads me to the question, why? Grab bars are so awesome for you. They help you safely move around the bathroom and prevent falls. Grab bars allow people to take care of themselves independently in the comfort of their home. So why do people turn their nose up to them? I found a study that had some surprising results as to why. Researchers at the University of Ottawa published a study in 2011 in the journal Assistive Technology. Oh, Canada, thank you for researching grab bars. They wanted to know how people use grab bars when they lost their balance while getting in and out of the shower. The researchers set up fake tub showers that had grab bars in different places like some um, right along the shower entry, some on the back wall, and some of the tub showers had no grab bars whatsoever. All of these fake showers were set on a platform that would move with the push of a button uh, to make people lose their balance on purpose. Don't worry, all the participants knew they were signing up for this. They wore protective clothing and a harness just in case they actually couldn't regain their balance after the platform moved around. As a side note, this sounds like a super fun study, like making people fall on purpose. I would probably be laughing my butt off. For ethical reasons, the researchers couldn't have anyone over the age of 60 involved in the experiment because they saw them at a high risk of actually getting injured if they were to lose their balance. So all the participants were between the ages of 50 and 60 years old, and then they also had some students that were in their 20s participate in the experiments. Everyone in the study was videotaped, um, losing their balance so that the researchers could see if people held onto grab bars to get their balance back, or if they didn't reach for grab bars at all. So there were 80 participants who completed a total number of 379 trials where the platform moved and they had to regain their balance. Out of all 379 trials, five people actually fell down. And in those circumstances, there were no grab bars present for them to reach out to and regain their balance. When the trials were finished, researchers asked the older adults how the grab bars made them feel when getting in and out of the shower. The older adults said the grab bars were very helpful. They felt more comfortable using them to get in and out of the tub shower and they felt safer when the grab bars were present. In fact, most of the participants said that when the experiment was done, they were going to go home and install grab bars at their shower entry. So the question is, did they do it? Hmm. After some time had passed, the researchers followed up with 55 of the 60 older adults. They found out that only five out of the 55 adults had actually gone home and installed grab bars in their shower. What? <laughs> it blows my mind that only five put in grab bars because the study showed how easy it can be to lose your balance. And it also showed that grab bars help most people regain their balance if they happen to lose it. I, I mean, I was just kind of blown away by that. <laughs> What's also interesting is that 23 of the participants said they would absolutely recommend putting in grab bars in the shower to their colleagues, friends, and families. 
The researchers guessed that most people didn't go home and put grab bars in their shower because of the stigma that's associated with them. I mean, most people, when they think of grab bars, they think nursing home or hospital. They think old and frail and sick. And most people just don't want to bring that into their home environment. And I totally get that. Personally, I think of grab bars as the seatbelt of the bathroom. If I know there's a chance that something bad might happen, I try to do everything I can to make sure that it doesn't. Don't you want to make sure that nothing bad ever happens to you? Also want to throw out another number. The average cost of going to the ER in the U.S. after a fall is $30,000. And that's not even counting any kind of rehab that you may have or outpatient therapy, home health therapy. It doesn't count any of that. $30,000. Putting in a grab bar is so much cheaper than that. With my experience as a healthcare professional and helping so many countless people rehab after a fall in their bathroom, I am absolutely here to say, you gotta think about putting a grab bar in your bathroom. There are so many different looking grab bars today that don't look ugly, that blend into the environment. There's toilet paper holders that are grab bars. You have nicer grab bars like this that come in all different shapes, lengths, colors, all of that. I'm not here to scare you into putting a grab bar in your bathroom. I'm just coming from a place of concern. I just want to help out my, my fellow humans and help you be safe and do your thing in your bathroom in privacy without having somebody like me bop on in and, and help you try to figure out how to live independently in your home. And that's all I ever want is for you to live safely at home in your bathroom. Make changes in your bathroom before an injury happens at all. That way you can choose what you want your bathroom to look like. If you head on over to toilettalk.me in my bathroom solutions, you can find all kinds of awesome grab bars that will match your aesthetic at home. So I want you to tell me in the comments down below, what do you think of grab bars? Do you have any grab bars in your bathroom now? If not, how come? If you learned something new from this video, please hit the subscribe button and the notifications button so you're alerted when the next video comes out. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you made it to the end. <laughs> I will see you next time on Toilet Talk. Bye-bye. <laughs>